Alrighty, so we're going to do a reveal today. It's a diamond painting. Um, I've just opened it up and I'm about to pull it out. We've got a whole heap of them on their way to us and we're not sure which one this is. So I'm going to open it up and find out. So um, I know that my daughter's got a lot of one, a lot coming and I'm guessing it's one of those. And I can't quite make out what it is. So we'll pull it out and see what it is and then we'll know. Oh, okay. It's her little penguin. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a little penguin. It's just a partial diamond painting. And it is with the round um, drills. So the packs come with some putty. It's got the tool. It's got the tray. And it has its um, has all the, the little drills that we need. So I'm actually liking the look of this one. Um, some of the ones that we've got in the past have had... The numbers on them but you couldn't quite make them out whereas this one actually looks quite nicely printed so you can see there that you can actually read that and that's not going to rub off and it's just tell it's got the number on it as well as the yeah so it's got the number on it and then the code that it should be so 310 is the black one and it doesn't tell me exactly how many packets I need, but I'm not going to need a lot for this particular one because it's only a small one. And as I said, this is just a partial one. So what I mean by a partial one is it's just the penguin that is going to have the uh, diamonds on it. The background hasn't got any of the... Um, that's just already pre-printed. It's only the penguin that is um, tacky. Alrighty, so she'll be very excited about that. When she gets home from school, she'll see that. And um, the reason she likes penguins is because her nickname, we call her Penguin. So she was very excited when she seen this. And we got this from AliExpress. Uh, I think it was like $2.50 or something along those lines. So I, um, yeah, she'll be very excited about that when she gets home from school.
Okay, so Savannah's now finished her little diamond painting in a little cute little penguin. And as I said at the beginning of the video, this is, was just a partial one. So the background isn't hasn't got the diamonds on it. It's just the penguin itself. So we went for a bit of a shop and we found a frame. Uh, we got it from... Um, like our dollar shop and it was uh, $3.99 for this particular frame it's quite a thick one and she just wanted a small one that she could stand up on her desk and so that's what we found um, and this one actually came with a couple of uh, inserts in it so you can put around the the um, around the the picture itself and it just makes it look a little bit more neater and a bit more professional so basically what you're going to need to do to finish this off and get it nice and framed is you're going to need your diamond painting you're going to need a ruler, a lead pencil, a rotary cutter for um, that you use for paper or something along those lines, not your good fabric one, and a glue stick. And that's all we're really going to need today. So um, I'm going to get started on that. And the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to pull the uh, photo frame apart and then we're going to measure everything up and make a few cuts and adjustments and then we'll have it all framed and ready to go. Alrighty, so we're going to get started. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking the frame apart and I'm just setting the, side, the, the glass aside. And as you can see, it came with two inserts. Now this one's too small for it, but the bigger one is actually a really good size. So I'll just move everything aside <clears throat> that we don't need right now and bring it in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So basically what I've done is... I've just got the, as I said, it came with two inserts, so I'm not using this one at the moment. So I can set that aside and I'm just lining this up. So you can see there that it actually fits the penguin in there quite nicely. And the, this was the, the smallest frame that we could find. The rest were just really too big for this particular um, shape. And I've got a couple of other different shape ones as well. So we're going to go and do um, some shopping for different frames and and whatnot for them so you can see there that that is actually sitting the penguin in there quite nicely um, it actually fits on this actual canvas uh, top to bottom so I don't need to trim or adjust anything there so what I've done uh, is going to do now is just mark it with the the pencil down the side of each side of it and you'll see there that that's just left a line there so I know that that's my my guide and I can trim that away and I'm not gonna have gonna not gonna lose the penguin or anything like that it's just gonna sit in there nicely and I can um, I can just do that from from this point of view here so I know where that line is now I can just quickly get my rotary cutter hopefully I've got the sharp one And I can just trim that off along the line. I think I've got the blunt one. <laughs> and I just spin it around and do the same to the other side, just on that lead pencil line that I made. I'll just keep my rotary cutter there in place so I don't lose my spot. Okay, and I'll just set that aside because we don't need that anymore. And just double check that I've got it in the right spot, which I have. So for this particular one, as you can see, it sits on there quite nicely. And the diamonds end right here. But it's covered up all that little bit of... Um, it's covered up a little bit of the background, but not too much. So basically... Um, what, what we've done is we've measured that out, we've cut it, so we know that that's to size now. But as you can see, we do have a little bit of this here and this here to cover. So the background just ends just there and it ends just there. So we need to cover that. So what I thought I'd do, instead of wasting this, I'm going to use um, the top part of this and I'm just going to sit it behind there with some um, with the glue stick. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'll set that aside and all I'm going to do is grab my ruler and basically line it up with this edge here so there's one piece and I'll spin it around 
line that up again. And these two pieces here I'll just disregard over there. You can set them aside. You might need them for a, another project. <clears throat> So again, I'm just lining this up. And I just sit this underneath. Okay, so I know that that's gonna sit there quite nicely. So I can get a little bit of, of my glue and just put that, that'll just hold it into place. making sure it's straight with the edge of the um, of the canvas and I just do the same with this one you can use double sided tape for this um, I've run out I thought I had some but I've run out so I'm just using the glue stick instead and again you just line that up there and then on the back of this one just put a little bit of glue so it sticks to the cardboard on the top and the bottom and then we just line that up so it's nice and even So you can see there that the penguin's in there nice and it's just butting up against the edge of the diamonds there and we've got that in there and it just makes it look a little bit more even than what it was. And I'll just give the glass a bit of a clean and all I'm using for that is just a little piece of scrap wadding. It's great for cleaning glass. Okay and be careful if you do get a frame the glass can be a little bit sharp. So we'll just pop that in there. Uh, sorry about the glare if you're getting that on camera from the lights. And then we just turn this upside down and move that out of the way. And you can see there that that's fitting in nicely. And I'm just going to put the date um, that it was finished. Okay, and then we just get our backing and we slide that back in there and then we just push those down and you can do them with your fingers you don't need any special tools for that and there we go we have one framed penguin he sits in there quite nicely and she can have that so it stands up on her on her desk. So I really hope you enjoyed this video of Savannah's little penguin. As I said, it's a partial, so um, it's perfect for a little one. It was nice and quick. I think it took her about two hours to do or an hour and a half to do something along those lines. But um, I hope you really enjoyed it and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.